Is it finally time to talk about my favorite part of this week? Absolutely. Okay, so I have not gotten enough chance to talk about this with my coworkers because, like, no one asked me how my weekend was. <laughs> Rude guys, by the way. But anyway, uh, I was so excited to get to, you know, redo our little tradition that we do every year and go visit the Grand American in Salt Lake, do a little bit of Christmas shopping, just a smidgen, you know, and enjoy that amazing brunch that they do. Oh, it's so good. So, yeah, this is, I can't believe this is the third year we've gone. Mm-hmm. It, 21, 22, and 23, right? Mm-hmm. It really is Silver Bells incarnate. It's Christmas time in the city, and yes, mm-hmm. it's Salt Lake City. Right. And not to flex or floss too much, mm-hmm. because like, I'll use hotels.com. Now it's called One Key or something, because they're doing it with a bunch of other right. almost failed uh, hotel websites. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um. So, like, the room cost us next to nothing. Yeah, I think it costs the same as, like, a Motel 6 did. Let's start with the hotel. Mm-hmm. The Grand America was built, I was there, actually, was built in advance of the 2002 Salt Lake City Olympics, the mm-hmm. Winter Olympics in Salt Lake, along with the freeway and a bunch of other stuff. Right. It was, like, a half a billion dollar hotel then. Mm-hmm. So, it's like a billion dollar hotel now. It takes up an entire city block. And it's just opulent. It's beautiful. It's the tallest hotel in Salt Lake City. It's the eighth tallest building in the, on the skyline, I think. But um, yeah, it really is amazing. Well, and it looks a lot like that hotel from Home Alone 2 when he's in New York. Uh-huh. Yeah. Right. It's the. It really is. The reason we want to mention the trip we took is you might want to do this. It might not be for you at all. But you you might want to do it, and here's why. It's the closest thing you're going to get to a big city Christmas experience. Mm-hmm. Right? Well, and it just makes you feel so fancy. If you want to do the valet parking, you can. We didn't. Mm-hmm. But and, and here's the deal. You don't even have to stay there. You can just mm-hmm. go, look at these window displays. The theme this year, I believe, was winter activities. Yes. Uh huh. You can go through the lobby and do an entire circuit around. The hotel has a square courtyard in the back, mm-hmm. and the, the hotel wraps all the way around it. Mm-hmm. So these windows dis- window displays are everywhere, and the kids can go and check a little thing that to show that, and I get a free cookie or something that they Aww. saw, all of them or something. That's cute. This lovely, giant gingerbread house toward the back. Oh, lo- I love the gingerbread house. As modeled by the lovely Carly Morgan. <laughs> Very nice. Well, and I think this one was the state... The Capitol building. Yes, the state Capitol building. Right. And if you zoom in, you can kind of see what it's made of. Mm-hmm. Very creative. But on- I wanted to lick it so bad. <laughs> she did. Good thing it was roped <laughs> off because she was gonna. I was. I had to pull her back a little hey, bit. Hey, it's better than the railing at the East Idaho State Fair. Did I lick it or not? <laughs> we might bring that up in a future episode. Anyway, on your way from all the window displays to the giant gingerbread house, like mm-hmm. massive, there are Christmas parties going on if yes. you happen to be there on, say, uh, Thursday, Friday, or Saturday yeah. night. So if you dress nice, maybe you can sneak in. <laughs> exactly. Now, we didn't. No. I, I didn't have the... Any other year, I think I would have, but I was just so tired. Mm-hmm. The uh, So we looked at the, the weather, and it was, you know, sunny and 40, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, snow. Yeah. So we had a white knuckle drive. And it took us an extra hour to get down there and to get home. And it was the slushy stuff where if you took a misstep or a miss turn, mm-hmm. you'd, you'd like be forced into the ruts of another mm-hmm. car's wheels, tracks. Yeah. It was just, yeah, it was terrible. Well, and there was even a guy at one point who was flipped around. Oh, yeah. there. I mean, how many slide offs did we see? Oh, uh, five, at six. At least five. Yeah. 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 And so anyway, we got to the hotel late and I was just sort of beat. Mm -hmm. But um, any other year, I think I would have tried to crash a party. Right, right. In fact, the one to crash this year was that we ran into the people, the Minky Couture Party. Right. They're the ones that make the, they're not weighted blankets. No, but they make the really soft, fluffy blankets. Yeah. They're kind of like Lola blankets. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah. They were, and uh, I think the next morning they were taking everything down and I posed with the M. Right, right. That was super fun. <laughs> yeah, so... Yeah, I was kind of bummed that we couldn't crash it because they did a Barbie theme and everything. Uh, you can fine. go to the hotel. You mm-hmm. can have a, a beverage at their coffee bar in the lobby and just mm-hmm. hang out, people watch. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, the next morning, the, um, what is it, the Laurel Brasserie and Bar... <gasps> 
buffet. Yes. Now you have to make reservations. My favorite part. Sometimes 30 or even 60 days in advance. Mm -hmm. It's so popular on Sunday. I think during December, they also do it on Saturday. Yeah, they decided to expand it. But they have, I mean, look, look at the desserts. Oh, it's amazing. And here's Carly with her. You can actually purchase <laughs> Macrons. Mm -hmm. Yes, I bought a couple of them because I wanted to be able to take them home. And then they have this funky little jazz band playing right. modern songs. Here's a little bit of their version of Creep by Radiohead. Uh -huh. Go ahead and sing along if you want. Where's your plate? So the brunch is 65 bucks a person. That's spendy. Mm -hmm. But if you think about it, I've, I'll pay 50 bucks for a great meal. Right. And then another, so $15 of that was just this amazing freedom of choice. Mm-hmm. The chef was making custom omelets right there. I think they even had custom pizzas in, at another one. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then I know there's prime rib in the back. Right. Yeah. I filled up my plate twice. Mm-hmm. Oh, fantastic. man. I think I, I think I got thirds. And then, you know, all the other stuff like City Creek Mall's right there. Mm -hmm. Oh, and by the way, just a real quick, I told you so. Remember me bagging on the Grand Teton Mall's marketing where they featured a photo of Santa? Right, in a mall that very much did not look anything like the Grand Teton Mall. Look at this ad. <laughs> yep, there's the exact same photo used for the Fashion Place Mall since Facebook knew my location. Mm -hmm. it, it was really fun to, you know how it is. Sometimes if you get away, you come back and you appreciate what you have here mm -hmm. even more. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you appreciate the slower speed right. in Idaho Falls. I've joked before about how the reason 1J drivers get such a bad rap. Right. You know? Yeah, because they're, they're so used to, you know, those big, yeah. long country roads. I think Idaho Falls is to Rigby <laughs> as Salt Lake City is to Idaho Falls. You know, I'm right. sure there are plenty of people looking at our Idaho license plates going, you know, you country mm. bumpkins. <laughs> well, yeah, but I'm just saying, I think that we complain a lot more about their drivers than they do about us. <laughs> and I think for good reason. 